day YouTube hope everybody's doing okay um, I hope everybody's staying hydrated you gotta stay hydrated uh, oh been wanting to I keep forgetting to uh, order some of that uh, yard board magic juice but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually order some because uh, I'm gonna try that out. Uh, I know it's been a minute. I didn't record nothing yesterday. I had had a lot going on. I was running a little behind because uh, my dad he was he was up uh, visiting, and I kind of wanna kind of cut everything a little short, you know. Uh, Friday and Saturday, kind of you know, spend a little time with him. All the time I could. Um, anyway, I'm still running a little behind, but uh, when this gets hot like this, I shit, I, I just slow down. Uh, work's gonna be there, so I mean, you know, being solo, yeah, you know, it, it just, you know, I, I do what I can do. It, it, I'd rather be, you know, safe than sorry, so, you know, getting out here, rushing, 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 end up falling out, spend, you know, going to the hospital, or, you know, possibly dying, you know, having a heat stroke, um, just isn't worth it to me, you know, I mean, yeah, it's costing me a few dollars to slow down, but at the end of the day, uh, health is more important other than a few dollars uh i want to see if anybody if, if any y'all had the uh fw15 the ferris uh malt behind 32 inch i uh, got it at the last it was the last end the tail end of last year um now, uh, before that, I've ha had uh, two X Mark commercial 30s, and you know the cut quality was great. You know I like the way they cut, but uh, it seemed like each one of those X Marks uh, had some you know belt issues, pulley issues, and it seemed like every time you know I, I would they would break a belt break a belt break a belt and uh the dealer my dealer was they they did me right i mean uh first time they fixed it under warranty because i didn't know what you know i was wanting to know the cause of it you know uh, hell i could put a new belt on that ain't a problem but i was wanting to know why it was going through belts like it was Anyway, uh, long story short, I, uh, you know, they put, uh, on, the, well, they put, uh, a new pulley, a new tensioner pulley on the X mark, and, uh, you know, about a month or two later, it broke, uh, the, the belt broke again, so I put a new belt on it and sold it, and, uh, turned around and I was looking at the uh, FW15 I'm like man I love that uh, I think it's like you know, the 14 horsepower Honda engine because uh, the X marks that I had was uh, the Kawasaki the F FJ108 or something like that way way under power I mean way under power and there's nothing more frustrating to be in a customer's yard with this, you know, heavy duty uh, big boy uh, push mower or walk behind. And here I am uh, struggling with it bogging down, uh, bogging out, bogging out, bogging out. You know, it just. Anyway, I just. Uh, 
got tired of that too, other than the belt issue. But uh, I finally, you know, bit the bullet and got the the Ferris, and uh, I love it. I really do, especially the that Honda engine they put on it. It's I, I've cut some really, really thick grass uh, with it. And probably, I probably took that mower, probably took that Ferris into some places that uh, really shouldn't have took in it and wasn't designed for it anyway. Um, and it will cut. It will, so it's solid. But, um, they, they just come with the, they don't come with the bagger. They don't come with nothing. They just, you know, come with the, uh, a side chute, you know, and that, that's all. But the yards I, I want to use it on, um, or use it on, I, you know, I've got, you know, real small, uh, some people like to call them granny yards. I just call them cookie cutter yards. Anyway, um, you know, they're real tight and they got, um, uh, mulch beds and and uh you know just not you just can't use a uh a uh a side shoe um dang. when them uh g wagon brand new g wagon Flipped on its side. Uh, damn, I know somebody's sick. Mm. That's over a hundred thousand dollars a ride. They nice as hell too. I'd love to have me one, but Eddie won't be getting one no time soon. Anyway, uh, so the uh, the bagger the bagger unit they got a you know the bagger unit you can uh, purchase of course separately and it's I hadn't priced it lately but I know it's uh, pretty pricey but anyway uh, they got the mulch kit uh, of course you gotta buy it separate um, I think it was I'm not sure how much it was, but I had to get that. That, that was a must-have um, on it, and it came with the the uh, metal side, the discharge plate, and uh, two mulching blades, and uh, a couple baffles you put underneath the deck. But anyway. Uh, Seemed like to me, I don't know. I, seemed like it. It's. I don't know if it's the blades or what. And I just took the blades off uh, Sunday and sharpened them and put them back on. Um. It, it's just not on that right on the right side. It's just not cutting right. I. I have no clue. I checked the tire pressure, and I both put them at uh, 10.5 pounds um, of pressure each. Uh, I don't know if I need to, to maybe lower that or what. I I should call the dealer and ask what they recommend. Of course, I mean help calling the dealer and asking them. Um, it's about like asking myself because uh, it's a hit and miss. I mean, it all depends on who's working. Because these dealers, they uh, seem like to me nowadays, they just they hire anybody, and whether they know anything about small engines or not, uh, not to mention uh, the equipment the particular dealer sells whether it be Exmark, Ferris, or whatever. Uh, if I was a dealer, then I would, you know, hire hire people that knew 
or teach them inside and out, you know, the equipment that they sell or they service. That's just my opinion. Uh, but anyway, that some of these dealers are a joke. It depends on who's working. Uh, one guy might know it inside and out. This other guy, he might have, he might have come, uh, you know, walking off the street and, and need a job and they hire him. I don't know. And don't know nothing about small engine or even how to put a gas in the damn thing. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's what it seemed like to me. I'm wondering, you know, if I need to, uh, go with a little bit lower tire pressure or I don't know, try new blades. I mean, I I have no idea. I bounced the blades after I sharpened them. Um, I'd love to have that damn RB, R, RBG or R, that, uh, that new uh, blade sharpener. That's a, that's a, that's a bad boy. Mm. I'd love to have one, but damn, they pricey. Too pricey for me. Anyway, uh, hope everybody's doing good and uh, staying safe out there in this heat. It, it's a battle, man. You got to be a damn. You got to be a warrior out here. Uh, it's. It seems like every year that goes by, and Eddie might be getting older. I don't know. He is. <laughs> But uh seem like every year is getting just tougher and tougher and hotter and hotter and hotter. You think it might be due to uh, uh, global warming? Nah, I doubt it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm just getting older and uh, I just figured I would uh, see what y'all thought about the uh, FW32, FW15. Um, just seeing what uh, any suggestions on what I could do to uh, see what y'all think so let me know your opinion you know on it if you know anything about it um, I don't know so I love I absolutely love that mower uh, especially with the hydro uh, reverse oh man that's that's the ticket Especially on, um, you know, like doing hills and, um, shit. I done got my damn cul-de-sac block. They're going to have to make it back up all the way, about two miles. He can do it. He got, trying to test Eddie's skill, but Eddie, Eddie can back a trailer. Eddie can back a trailer. Anyway, uh, just let me know y'all thoughts and. Uh, opinions on that, what I could do, what I, you know, need to do, blah, blah, blah. I appreciate all the comments. Um, thank you for everybody watching and uh, subscribers. And, you know, really appreciate the interaction. But, uh, yeah, looks like I might have to back up about uh, half a mile. This dude right here has got the whole damn uh, cul-de-sac blocked off. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. Y'all uh, have a good day. Peace.